Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw here at ILTM Con. I'm here with uh, Thomas Mee Sr., who's the chairman of a new resort company called Ananti Hotels in Montenegro, which is a actually fast-growing destination. We're going to learn all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Thomas, first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about Montenegro and, and why it's really booming these days. Montenegro is a new destination uh, that got its independence in 2006. This is down so, around you know, south of Croatia and all that, right? Yeah, it's uh, between Croatia, Albania and Serbia. Okay. And, and Bosnia as well. And Bosnia as well. Yeah. So why do you think it's become so popular? Uh, because uh, it's a very small country first. Nature is absolutely fantastic and preserved. And it's, as it's one of the smallest countries in the world, you need to understand it's 0.6 million inhabitants in the country. It's not even in district uh, mm. of uh, a big, of large city. So everything is uh, together in very close distance, proximity. And if you compare with other coasts, like, you know, Croatia is never-ending coast, uh, sure. for instance. So, uh, and it's basically a new destination. It's very easy reach. It's not far. It's really in Europe. It's in, a, it's in the heart of Europe. So it's uh, very easy to get there. Uh, for instance, there are two international airports uh, in uh, Montenegro with Podgorica and Tivat where Tivat is where it's Porto Montenegro. So there has been also this big development that kicked off somehow uh, the development of Montenegro with this super yacht marina and uh, the first luxury hotel opened there uh, a couple of years ago. And, um, and now you're going to open up another one, right? Yeah, well, actually, yeah. Uh, to date, uh, there are four international luxury hotels in Montenegro, international level. Uh, there are two in the area of Tivat. Uh, which is the region, uh, the Chedi Nusticha that just opened this year. And there is, of course, the iconic and oldest uh, luxury property in Montenegro, which is the Aman, Sveti Stefan, on this mm -hmm. fabulous island. And we are just next to this property um, with um, our own little land, our um, beach. So it's very protected, very, uh, we're in the heart of the nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, where we completely stand out uh, from any other uh, hotel, not even in Montenegro, but in all the region of the Balkans, and I would even extend it to the Adriatic Sea, mm -hmm. is that you don't have any uh, luxury hotel that uh, offers villas and large villas. So you have large villas. So what is the total accommodation count that you have, the keys? We have 22 keys. Just 22? Yes, eight villas, 14 suites. Wow. So our average uh, ratio per key is 200 square meters, so 2,000 square feet. Not a bad size room. <laughs> yeah, and you need to understand that uh, because I'm a developer initially. Right. I'm an operator and somehow by accident. Um, so uh, I work with other brands, uh, American brands, Asian brands. And uh, it was a chance for me uh, with this project to create my own brand and uh, do what I want as hotelier what should be the ideal, somehow, uh, hotel. And from there, we made a decision with my partner and investor into the project that instead of uh, building 200 rooms, for instance, we decided to go for large units, offer an, a real alternative to families, because today there is nothing for them, right. uh, for long stays, etc. And a little uh, very important thing is that Montenegro is, one of, I guess, one of the only countries in the world where when you build, when you have your construction rights, the number of square feet you can build on the land, uh, the terraces are included in your net internal. Mm. So basically, that's why in Montenegro, even new constructions, you will see the tiniest uh, terraces and balconies in the, in the universe yeah. because that's net internal. We took the completely opposite direction. So basically, like our uh, villas are between 3,000 square feet and 6,000 square feet okay. for three, four bedrooms. And you have the same surface as terraces right. <laughs> with infinity pools, with uh, gardens, etc. Barbecue now, areas. Now, do you also have dining opportunities? What, uh, on, on Absolutely. We have um, an Asian fusion chef coming from um, South in, uh, Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So we will have, of course, the local cuisine, which is absolutely fantastic. The most fresh fish you can get uh, in the Right area. on the sea, absolutely right. And, and we'll also bring uh, really this uh, 
unparalleled and you don't find, we will not find the same, same food like really Malaysian, uh, uh, Thai, Viet, uh, Vietnamese foods, uh, which you don't find. Um, uh, out no, there no, in Montenegro. Not in Montenegro, no, no really. No, no, no. Now, when is the opening? So, we're opening in May next year. Okay. Um, okay you're already part of a major hotel affiliation, right? Yes, we've been uh, uh, a year and a half ago, yeah, we were accepted as a member, the first member, historical member of the leading hotels of the world in Montenegro. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and so, because um, when I develop a hotel, um, I make sure that we respect 100% the standards of leading and LQA. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so that's why uh, we've been accepted that uh, is it. Yeah. Is so it. What, what else would you tell travel advisors about how to sell this property? What, 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 what's the real, uh, obviously the huge villas, that's a huge part yeah, of it. Yeah. And so for families and also it's near the sea and Montenegro is a hot an emerging destination, right? Yeah, correct. So basically, um, the, we target, because this product is really unique on the Adriatic, we target the families, we target, uh, we like people to gather, you know, and to reconnect. Uh, and it's, this is a philosophy of my brand, basically, uh, because people are uh, always like, you know, the husband is working, traveling, the, uh, the wife is uh, taking care of a million things, uh, and even working herself, the kids are at school or activities. They don't see each other year-round. Mm. They don't see each other. So this is an opportunity for them to get together. This is correct. And the brand uh, is the combination of two Nepalese Sanskrit. Um, I was going to ask you what the name okay. was. Okay. So uh, it's Ananda and Shanti. So Ananda is joy, happiness, and Shanti is peace. So right. it becomes Ananti. Um, so from there, as we are very much inspired by this Buddhist philosophy, for instance, I don't know if you're familiar with Holi Festival, which you, uh, with your friends, your family, your relatives, you are having this fight with the powder, and in fact, it's uh, a way to forgive. Okay. So it's it's the f party to forgive everything, okay. what happened, uh, bad thoughts and uh, or bad actions, whatever. So, and I want to organize twice a year uh, in a resort such parties. Okay. So on top of putting together. Uh, back families, friends into a very uh, absolutely adorable environment and, and space and light. Uh, I want also to, for them to, to re in the, on top of um, uh, reconnecting, I want also that they forgive. That's an interesting concept. It's, yeah. It seems lovely, and it actually there is forgiveness, and, and in that kind of relationship with families, of course, there probably is a lot of forgiveness sometimes, I tell you. <laughs> now, now, is this the first of, of what you see as a chain of, of resorts? Well, yes, of course, uh, the objective is that we uh, extend the brand um, at a low pace. We don't go, want to go too fast, um, because every project needs to have extreme attention. And so I'm personally extremely involved into this brand. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we have a, lots of interest uh, on the brands from uh, investors, mm -hmm. particularly on resort destinations. Mm -hmm. We have actually a uh, very strong interest in uh, Turkey and in Portugal. No. Well, Thomas, thank you very much for filling us in on Ananti. Uh, a new brand in Montenegro, which is a, an emerging destination, and it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic place where you can bring your families and maybe get some forgiveness, right? Absolutely. And we look forward to welcoming you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.